Welcome all of you. Good afternoon. Welcome to this live lecture where we are discussing the most important CSER net part A previous year questions of June 2023. And this session is equally useful for chemical science, life science, mathematical science, physical science and earth science CSER net aspirants because aptitude section is Sarah strains ke liye common hai. and we will be discussing questions from each different uh, question papers in which came in June 2023 and for the new people my name is Christy Vergas more about me you can uh, read here and I'm the author of the book CSER net general aptitude and new outlook which is the current bestseller book for CSER net party and uh, if you want to get trained from me for general aptitude section my full length complete course for CSER net part A is available in the mobile application Christie's classes the link is given in the description of this video and uh, these are more details of the course and flashcard series or 100 flashcards for CSER net part A that is also available in the mobile application Christie's classes these are details of the latest courses we have launched and these courses are equally useful for all these five science streams and 55 lectures recorded videos complete theory of CSER net part A detailed analysis of previous year questions and practice questions and speed matrix to solve questions faster all these things will be part of this course and with this course you can now get free study materials 100 flashcards 50 practice worksheets 50 topic wise PDFs and 10 test series. This is the complete schedule of the complete course for CSER net part A. This is for all science streams preparing for the June 2024 or December 2024 CSER net exam. So all of you are welcome to be part of this full length training. Is may more systematic learning you will get through this complete course because regular uh, scheduled course uh, like in a proper schedule you will be able to attend the class compared to the free classes in lesser time you can learn more in this complete course so these are some of the reviews of the previous uh, students who attended the complete course for CSER net general aptitude from me so more of more details of the course you can find in the description of this video and if you cannot attend the free uh, uh, paid course the free materials a lot free materials are available in the christyvergus.in website telegram channel christy's classes whatsapp group and mobile application christy's classes in the description of the video all the links are provided or scanning the qr codes you can access that and yep uh, youtube playlist also there are many playlists available in this channel where you can learn general aptitude completely free uh, csr net ka previous year questions itself last three year previous year questions all questions we have uh, discussed in the different playlist and also gate ke liye complete free course available at yep, uh, youtube channel mein. so subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon and support the channel by sharing it to maximum people so that we will be able to schedule more such free classes in the future also so let us start uh, today we are discussing number system related questions which came in june 2023 logical reasoning related questions we already discussed in another video that you can check out after watching this video number system that is types of number divisibility digits and place value certs and exponents perfect square identifying last digit miscellaneous number system questions from these areas the questions that have come for these areas you should know these theory what are the types of numbers how to understand number system using the chair analogy and the venn diagram explaining the size or uh, which numbers are part of which numbers and the arithmetic of odd number and even number and factors and multiple idea and uh, test of divisibility idea and about factors the techniques how to find number of powers of x in p factorial which we have discussed in a previous video in this channel itself and uh, loss of exponents power how to multiply divide same base same powers power of power etc these kinds of things you should know in number system with questions we will discuss more about it so june 2023 this was first question uh, this is one of the question in from number system all of you try it after trying i will start explaining the question all of you make a try and mention the answer in the live chat 
Those of you are watching this recording also, you can mention in the comments whether you are getting the answer or if you want, you can mention which answer for each question. If you want, you can mention that also. So, if you try and make sure you invited your friends also to be part of this live lecture. Any CSERNet aspirant you know who want to attend free classes for general aptitude, share this link with them, either live or recorded, they can watch this. Some of you got an answer, all of you try please. Okay, so I'll explain. If the difference between the two digit numbers made from digits A and B is 27, the difference between A and B is two digit numbers. How you write a two digit number in our number system? In our number system means decimal number system is the number system we normally use. Na. Wo, decimal number system is a two digit number. Ko, 10a plus b lik sakta hai if a and b are digits. For example, 23 hai to 10 into 2 plus 3 hai na. So, ye 2 digit number ko mein 10a plus b lik raha hai. 10a plus b. So, or if a b is the dig digits, 10a plus b is the number. Difference between 2 digit numbers made from a and b means there are 2 dump numbers uska difference. A B एक number है तो दूसरा number कौन सा है B A है ना for example two and three use किया था twenty three B you can make thirty two also you can make difference between these two thirty two minus twenty three क्या है nine है I just took thirty two as an example but nine नहीं हमें twenty seven मिलना चाहिए ऐसा एक number ऐसा एक two digit number fix करना है लेकिन वो trial and error करके find करना time consuming है that is why we are doing the direct method let 10a plus b or if a and b are the digits, let 10a plus b be the two digit number. So, uska reverse b a hai and the number can be written 10b plus a na. 23, 10, 20 plus 3 hai, 32, 30 plus 2 hai na. So, 10a plus b, 10b plus a. Ye dono ka difference 27 milna chahiye. So, you can write like this. All of you understood this equation? Then start uh, simplifying that equation. It is so easy. Opening up the bracket minus minus here and 10a minus 1a is 9a. 1b minus 10b is minus 9b equal to 27. 9 common a cancel kar sakta hai. A minus b 3 hai. 
या वन इक्वेशन टू अनोन यू के नॉट सोल्व इथ टू गेट कंसिस्टेंट सोल्यूशन लेकिन ए एंड बी का वैल्यू पूछा नहीं है ना द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड बी इज नॉट आस ओनली डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए एंड बी इज आस दैट इज ए माइनस बी और ए बी माइनस ए दैट इज क्लियरली थ्री ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड दिस सो वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन नंबर सिस्टम दैट इज प्लेस वैल्यूज इन डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम प्लेस वैल्यू फेस वैल्यू ये चीजें यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न इन स्कूल so those things whether you are clear very basic elementary logic only i mean elementary maths only is needed but whether you are able to apply it properly that is what csir is trying and this was asked in june 2023 in three different subject papers june 2023 mein dusra paper mein ye question aaya tha same type ka question try it Two minutes to try. All of you try. Okay, so I'll explain. If the sum of the two-digit numbers formed from the digits a and b is a perfect square, so पिछले क्वेश्चन में twenty seven difference मिलना चाहिए था यहाँ पे sum एक perfect square होना चाहिए sum एक perfect square two-digit numbers formed from the digits a and b as I told us a b and b a a b और इसका reverse b a उसको कैसा लिख सकता है ten a plus b और ten b plus a ना 10a ए प्लस बी और 10b बी प्लस ए इसका सम एक परफेक्ट स्क्वायर होना चाहिए परफेक्ट स्क्वायर को यू कैन नॉट राइट इस राइट इफ यू वांट यू कैन राइट इट एस एक्स स्क्वायर बट दैट इज अ थर्ड वेरिएबल सो इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग इट फर्स्ट सिंप्लीफाई दिस 10a ए प्लस बी प्लस टेन बी प्लस ए सिंप्लीफाई किया तो 11a ए प्लस लेवन बी मिलेगा क्योंकि 10a और 1a 1b और 10b बी सो इलेवन कॉमन है इलेवन टाइम्स ए प्लस बी इलेवन टाइम्स ए प्लस बी मीन्स इलेवन परफेक्ट स्क्वायर बनाने के लिए इलेवन इंटू चाहिए ना इलेवन इंटू इलेवन वन ट्वेंटी वन है मतलब 11 इंटू ए प्लस बी इज वन ट्वेंटी वन मीन्स ए प्लस बी शुड बी इलेवन ना देन ओनली इलेवन इंटू ए प्लस बी विल बी परफेक्ट स्क्वायर वन ट्वेंटी वन बिकॉज आस लेवन इज ऑलरेडी देयर परफेक्ट स्क्वायर के लिए यू नीड वन मोर लेवन बिकॉज परफेक्ट स्क्वायर इज ए नंबर इंटू द सेम नंबर इट सेल्फ वन नंबर इज लेवन सो द अदर नंबर इज ऑल्सो इलेवन सो ए प्लस बी इज लेवन दैट ए प्लस बी इज आस ना ए एंड बी का सेपरेटली वैल्यू नहीं पूछा है ए प्लस बी का वैल्यू पूछा है दैट इज ऑप्शन डी प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन वॉज ट्वेंटी सेवन डिफरेंस हियर सम इज अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर बोथ वेर आस्ट इन टू डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट एप्टीट्यूड पेपर इन द सेम इयर एंड वन मोर क्वेश्चन इन अनदर पेपर ट्राई दिस क्वेश्चन आई एम अगेन एम्फोसाइजिंग दिस पॉइंट टू द न्यू स्टूडेंट्स हु आर अटेंडिंग माई क्लासेस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर फॉर पार्ट ए 
take all the previous year question papers of all subjects, not only your subjects aptitude paper. Because your subject aptitude paper getting repeated, usse bhi siyada chance, other subject aptitude paper will be repeated in your paper. So that is why it is very important, try to get as many previous year question papers as possible. And in this channel itself, I have given last three years, all question paper, all questions solved. All questions means maybe two or three questions of a question paper is missed. But almost all questions of last three years are completely solved of all subjects. That itself is enough st study material for you to start your preparation. So try this question, all of you. answers here it is more specified that one number is obtained by reversing the digits of the other so you like previous question mein wo itna clearly mentioned nahi kiya tha, but here it is mentioned reversing the digits other number is obtained but here there is a small difference. Square karna hai yaha, then you have to solve this. That means you have to use one of the identities you have learned. I'll explain. So all of you try it. Some of you got the answer already. Wonderful. All of you try it. Okay, so I'll explain. The difference of the squares of two distinct two-digit number with one being obtained by reversing the digits of the other. Matlab, ek two-digit number AB hai to uska reverse BA hai another number. Matlab, ye 10A plus B or ye 10B plus A hai when you write it in decimal number system form. Difference of squares. Matlab, isko bhi square karna hai, isko bhi square karna hai, then you have to write the difference. This difference is divisible by which of the four options? So look at this. 10a plus b the whole square minus 10b plus a the whole square. Now you can do this in two ways. Using this identity a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b or using this, this a plus b the whole square identity, sorry, 
Yeah, a plus b the whole square identity also you can do. A plus b the whole square means you have to individually open up this bracket and this bracket and then subtract. But in my opinion, it say be easier eh? this directly doing. But don't make mistakes if you are directly using this. A square minus b square. Where a square means what? 10a plus b is a. 10b plus a is b. Or if you have confusion, a and b already there. So you can put x square minus y square. That is x minus y into x plus y. Na? The identity you learned in school. x square minus y square means x minus y into x plus y. Matlab, 10a plus b minus 10b plus a. 10a plus b minus 10b plus a means opening up the bracket. 10a plus b minus 10b minus a. Into x plus y. x plus y. x kya hai 10a plus b. y kya hai 10b plus a. So 10a plus b plus 10b plus a. Abhi isko simplify karo. Isko simplify kya to kya milega. 10a minus a. 9a. 1b minus 10b. In the previous question also we did the same. Na? 9b. And 10a plus b plus 10b plus a. 11a plus 11b. Matlab, do you realized? Pichle question me 11a plus 11b this, I mean this adding was needed. Last to last question me, this subtracting was needed. This 9a minus 9b. This question, both the thing together is needed. Are you getting? So 9 common, 11 common. Because 9 is common here, 11 is common here. So 9 into 11 into a minus b into a plus b. 9 into 11 into a minus b into a plus b. Matlab ye product 9 se divisible hai, 11 se divisible hai, a minus b se divisible hai, a plus b se bhi divisible hai. Options mein kaun sa option hai? Is always divisible by 11, that is correct. Always divisible by 11. Kyunki 9, a plus b, a minus b, ye sab options mein nahi hai. Ye bhi options mein hai toh, wo bhi answer hoga. So here, option d is the answer. Please respond, is this clear? So, three similar question asked in three different subject aptitude papers in June 2023. That is what we have seen from number system topic. Okay, so then let's see one question from certs and exponents unit. Sorry, certs and exponents chapter in number system unit. Your question try career. Gate exam mein ye question ka same type of question like 4 or 5 years before was asked. Same model question. That is why CSAR and gate you can prepare together. Those of you are preparing for CSAR exam. Gate questions can be a practice material for you and vice versa. CSAR questions can be a practice material for gate. Just the uh, topics that is not there in CSAR is there in GATE that is verbal aptitude. Wo separately prepare karna hai, but non-verbal aptitude more or less it is the same topics itself. Check out my complete playlist for GATE general aptitude in this channel for learning more GATE general aptitude question and that way you can practice CSAR also by practicing those questions.
Okay, I'll explain. Suppose 729 raised to 22 by 3 into 81 raised to x by 2 equal to 3. So, when the bases are same, you can compare which is bigger or uh, you can compare the powers actually. 729, 81, 3, bases are different. Bases are same, you can multiply which rule you have learned in school. A raised to m into, sorry, A raised to m into, A raised to n is, A raised to m plus n. Base same here to powers ko add kar sakta hai. 2 raised to 4 into 2 raised to 3 here to 2 raised to 4 plus 3 hai. So base same karna hai that is a logic. Left hand side, right hand side, dono ka base same karna hai. 729 on 81, 3. Ye tino ka bases kaisa same kar sakta hai. Ye tino 9 ka powers hai na. You can write it in powers of 3 also. But I will tell you why I am not writing it in terms of 3. First I will explain with 9. Ye 9 ka cube hai na, 729. Ye 9 ka square hai na. Lekin 3 9 ka kya hai? 3 9 ka root hai ya square root hai. Square root of root ko hum 1 by 2 lik sakta hai na. A raised to minus m means, sorry. A raised to 1 by m means mth root of a. Mth root of a. Like 125 raised to 1 by 3 means third root of 125. These are things already all of you know. But in case any of you have doubt, I am just explaining it or briefly mentioning it so 9 ka square root hai 3 9 ka square root ko 9 raised to half lik sakta hai abhi isko raised to 22 by 3 lik sakta hai isko raised to x by 2 lik sakta hai isko raised to yeah raised to nothing so now you can multiply you have one identity you learned a raised to m the whole raised to n is a raised to m into n 2 raised to 3 the whole raised to 4 is 2 raised to 3 into 4 same way isko Multiply kar sakta hai. So, this 3 will be cancelled. So, 9 raised to 22 into. This 2 will be cancelled. 9 raised to x. Equal to 9 raised to half. Abhi ye tino ha, uh, basis 9 ho gaya. Now, a raised to m into a raised to n form is this. Na? This identity we just discussed now. 9 raised to 22 into 9 raised to x is 9 raised to 22 plus x. That is equal to 9 raised to half. Abhi left hand side may be 9 raised to something. Hai. Right hand side may be. 9 raised to something. Eh? So you can equate the powers. 22 plus x equal to half. 22 plus x equal to half means x is equal to half minus 22. 22 minus half, 21 and half. Eh? So it, half minus 22 minus 21 and half. Eh, na? Minus 21 and half means minus 21.5. If any of you have any doubts, in detail I have explained in this slide. Go through it and ask me the doubts if you have any. Clear Anna Sapko, please respond. Thirds and exponents chapter. So, next question is a beautiful question which can be done in different ways. So, make a try.
Any answers? Okay, I'll explain. Some of you got an answer. Yeah, question you can do in three different ways according to your uh, understanding about math or your understanding about some of the things you learned in school days. Some of you may remember A cube plus B cube formula. A cube plus B cube formula, yeah, there. Or a cube minus b cube formula also was there. A cube plus b cube formula was this identity is what I am trying to say. A cube plus b cube is a plus b into a square minus a, a b plus b square. Not a plus b the whole cube. I am telling about a cube plus b cube. Again, I am not sure everyone remembers this formula also. That is why I am telling according to your understanding of math or your way of looking at things, this question how different solutions. So a cube plus b cube a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square right. Matlab a plus b is ka a factor hai. a plus b into something likha hai. Same way 162 plus 323 162 the whole cube plus 323 ko 162 plus 327 into whatever remaining a plus b into a square minus uh, a b plus b square that formula you can use now this 162 plus 327 is actually 489 it is not a random number 489 489 is sum of these two value like if i write it x cube plus y cube x plus y is this so the question is asking x cube plus y cube the ato wo x cube plus y cube x plus y is a divisible hai ya nahi divisibility chapter ka idea hai x plus y is a divisible hai ya nahi Yes, it is divisible because we already know that. We already know that a cube plus b cube is a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. A square minus a b plus b square is not relevant here. A plus b a factor, eh, na? All of you understood this. Same way, what you can say about b? Here 612 or here 323 ka difference, eh, na? 489. Or in other words, question is asking, given x cube minus y cube, is it divisible by x minus y yes it is divisible by x minus y because x cube minus y cube ka identity kya hai a cube minus b cube is a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square so it is x minus y into x minus y into something whatever be that something divided by x minus y means x minus y cancel kar sakta hai na yeah it is divisible na are you getting that is why it is divisible by 489. This one is also divisible by 489. 162 or 326 ka sum hai ye. 612 or 123 ka difference hai ye. That is why it is divisible by both A and B. How many of you understood this? Please respond. This is one way of doing this question. Some of you may have a doubt, but I don't know this formula. I don't remember. I don't even remember. I learned it or not also. I don't remember. Maybe true. But you have learned, I think in 10th class or is it, was it in 11th class, I don't know. Because commonly we use these three identity, then we learn these two identity, then we learn these two identity. Which standard, I don't know, but you have learned in school. So if you don't know this identity, this question is over. But if you don't know this identity, then you can do, yeah, then you should know another theory. That theory is very important, that theory is good to learn because... By this theory, you can do even higher question. 
यहाँ पे क्यूब था इसलिए ये आइडेंटिटी यूज कर सकता था ना बट वॉट इफ इट इज ए रेस टू फाइव प्लस बी रेस टू फाइव या ए रेस टू टेन प्लस बी रेस टू टेन ऐसा है तो क्या होगा दैट इज वाई देर इज अ जेनरल रूल अबाउट दैट ऑल्सो जेनरल रूल से इज दिस ए रेस टू एन प्लस बी रेस टू एन इज डिविजिबल बाई ए प्लस बी वेन एन इज ऑड ये पावर ऑड है तो वो ऑलवेज ए प्लस बी से डिविजिबल होगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल टेन क्यूब प्लस थ्री क्यूब थर्टीन से डिविजिबल है टेन क्यूब क्या है थाउसेंड है ना थ्री क्यूब क्या है ट्वेंटी सेवन है ना थाउसेंड प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउसेंड ट्वेंटी सेवन इज डिविजिबल बाई दिस टेन प्लस थ्री थर्टीन चेक इट आउट इट इज डिविजिबल बाई थर्टीन सो दिस थियरम इफ यू नो दिस इज अ थियरम अगेन दिस I don't think you have learned in school days. If you have learned, that was in 11th or 12th. But I, I don't think all of you have taken maths in 11th or 12th. That is why you can learn it as an extra theorem itself, if possible. A raised to n plus b raised to n is divisible by a plus b when n is odd. यहाँ पे odd है. That is why 162 plus 323 will be divisible by 489 also. The good thing about this theorem is, if the question was asking seven also, answer a divisible होगा. लेकिन eight है तो divisible होना जरूरी नहीं है. Eight है तो क्योंकि even है. And odd है तो it will be divisible. Now what about this? Six hundred and twelve minus one twenty three. That is a raised to n minus b raised to n. A raised to n minus b raised to n. A minus b से divisible है या नहीं? That is the question. That will always be divisible. Whether it is odd or even, it will always be divisible. For example, ten cube minus three cube. Look here, ten cube. What is it? Hundred, right? Sorry, ten square. Uh, odd is it or even? Ten square. First, we will do hundred minus nine is eighty. Ninety one. Ninety one seven is divisible, right? Seven. What is it? Ten minus three. If it is odd, then it is also satisfied. Ten cube thousand minus twenty seven. Three cube twenty seven. Subtract. What is it? Nine. 73 मिलेगा 973 7 थ्री सेवन का मल्टीपुल है चेक इट आउट दैट इज टेन माइनस थ्री से डिविजिबल है ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टेड ए रेस टू एन माइनस बी रेस टू एन इज ऑलवेज डिविजिबल बाई ए माइनस बी वॉट एवर बी द एन ओड और इवन बट ए रेस टू एन माइनस बी रेस टू एन ए प्लस बी से डिविजिबल होने के लिए एन इवन होना चाहिए टेन टेन स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर थर्टीन से डिविजिबल है टेन प्लस थ्री से डिविजिबल है How many of you understood this? This three theorems, if you know, the good thing about that is, as I told, for higher powers also it will work. See, so, say yes, I now ask for power three. What about asking for higher powers? Then this theorem is needed. If only till three is there, you can use this. Square है तो भी you already know. A square minus b square, a plus b, a minus b दोनों से divisible है. But cubes. क्यूब से ऊपर है तो यू हैव टू यूज दिस आइडेंटिटी डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड होप यू लर्न समथिंग न्यू बिकॉज़ मोस्ट ऑफ यू डिडंट गॉट एन आंसर सो आई थिंक दिस वाज समथिंग दैट यू लर्न न्यू नाउ इफ यू अगेन द वर्स्ट केस दैट कैन हैपन इज इफ यू डोंट नो दिस थ्योरम आल्सो और दिस आइडेंटिटी आल्सो इफ यू डोंट नो दिस आल्सो देन व्हाट यू विल डू देन आल्सो देयर इज अ प्लान सी प्लान सी इज नॉट स्किप द क्वेश्चन Plan C is taking example method. In my previous YouTube live, I have discussed general aptitude questions. करने के लिए 15 shortcut ways या 15 approaches है. Many people the mistake they do is they just limit to mathematical direct method, elimination by substitution, these kinds of one or two methods only. But there are 15 ways of doing it. And one of the major method is taking example method. Taking example method. यूज किया तो भी ये क्वेश्चन कर सकता है क्या एग्जाम्पल ये एक जनरल इक्वेशन या जनरल फॉर्मूला नहीं है ना देन एग्जाम्पल क्या है एग्जाम्पल मतलब इंस्टेड ऑफ 162 का होल क्यूब और 327 का होल क्यूब करना टाइम कंज्यूमिंग है बट 162 और 327 के जगह एक स्मॉलर नंबर वंस यू अंडरस्टूड दैट क्वेश्चन इज ट्राइंग टू आस्क यू एक्स क्यूब प्लस वाई क्यूब एक्स प्लस वाई से डिविजिबल है या नहीं वो समझ में आया तो एक छोटा वैल्यू चेक कर करके चेक करिए ये एक इवन नंबर है ये एक ऑड नंबर है ना तो एक छोटा इवन नंबर टू क्यूब ले रहा है और छोटा ऑड नंबर थ्री क्यूब ले रहा है टू क्यूब प्लस थ्री क्यूब क्या है एट प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन थर्टी फाइव है ये थर्टी फाइव टू प्लस थ्री से डिविजिबल है या नहीं चेक करिए 
फाइव से डिविजिबल है ना थर्टी फाइव बाई फाइव सो इट इज डिविजिबल या दैट इज नॉट अ प्रूफ लेट मी क्लैरिफाई दैट इज नॉट अ प्रूफ बिकॉज वन एक्साम्पल ओनली वी टू बट वी गॉट वी गेट एन इंक्यूशन बाई टेकिंग टू थ्री एक्साम्पल्स दिस विल वर्क दैट इज वाई दिस एक्साम्पल टेकिंग एक्साम्पल मदर ऑल्सो यू कैन डू हियर फॉर बी ऑल्सो दिस इज एक्स क्यूब माइनस वाई क्यूब फॉर एटी नाइन से डिविजिबल है मतलब एक्स क्यूब माइनस वाई क्यूब इज इट डिविजिबल बाई एक्स माइनस वाई वो चेक करने के लिए भी छोटा एक इवन नंबर का क्यूब फोर क्यूब ये ऑड नंबर है ना एक ऑड नंबर ही एक्साम्पल ले लो थ्री क्यूब फोर क्यूब सिक्सटी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन सिक्सटी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन क्या है थर्टी सेवन है थर्टी सेवन ये फोर एंड थ्री का सॉरी वन सेकेंड फोर एंड थ्री का डिफरेंस क्या है फोर माइनस थ्री वन है ना थर्टी सेवन वन से डिविजिबल है या वन इज अ वेरी ट्रिवियल एग्जाम्पल सो मे बी यू कैन टेक अ बेटर एग्जाम्पल फोर के जगह सिक्स क्यूब ले लो सिक्स क्यूब टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन है थ्री क्यूब ट्वेंटी सेवन है टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन मीन्स दैट इज वन एटी नाइन वन एटी नाइन सिक्स माइनस थ्री थ्री से डिविजिबल है यस टेस्ट ऑफ डिविजिबिलिटी से वो डिविजिबल है दैट इज द टेकिंग एग्जाम्पल मदर लिटिल क्लम्सी इन दिस क्वेश्चन but that can also be used srimanda that concept we already discussed in my previous youtube live top 30 csr net pyqs december 2023 in that series we already discussed these two concepts check out that video because now we discuss that then we will be deviating from the objective of today's lecture today's lecture is questions from june 2023 we are discussing all these concepts we are discussing in different videos check it out there you can learn and one more information as you mentioned uh, these flash cards i am trying to start a series on these flash cards i like to hear your opinion about it do you want such a series a series explaining each of the flash cards like every flash card each flash card taking 5 minutes or 10 minutes explaining each flash card a youtube live series we are planning do support in case uh, you want that uh, series do let me know in the comments first and uh, do let others know in case we are starting that also uh, we'll update you if we are starting that uh, youtube live series anyway these concepts was already discussed in the previous uh, playlist that is top 30 december 2023 csar net part 8 questions okay so uh, i hope uh, the previous question solution is completely clear then try this question another number system question aaj hum number system because number system related questions in the last few years i am again and again telling to those students please try to take latest previous year questions and start practicing december 2012 onwards last 12 years csr haven't made any significant change in pattern but the importance of chapters varies in each year so try to make sure that you complete all previous last few years question papers in detail uske baad uska pehle wala questions bhi you can discuss you can try o okay vaida thank you for the response Th uh, thank you shrimanta also thank you for the response so try this question all of you
so if you are watching the session live or recorded do hit the like but hit the like button if you feel the session was useful and do comment on this video and do share it with maximum people because that way only youtube also will recommend this video to more and more people and that will be a big motivation for us to come up with more such free initiatives in the future The link for joining the complete course and for buying the flashcards also will be there in the description and in the comment section I will pin the link. Uh, download our mobile application there you can find all the uh, details and uh, complete course ka free demo videos are also available in that whether you join the course or not that demo videos will be good for you to learn one or two topics uh, completely free you can attend that that also you can check out in the mobile application Christie's classes link is there in the description okay so I will explain given that a not equal to b and a b a b greater than 0 and a raised to n plus 2 plus b raised to n plus 2 divided by a raised to n plus b raised to n is equal to a into b then n equal to dash so this question you can do different ways but if you are getting no idea what to do or no more theorems you want to buy hard you can do elimination itself. It won't take much time if you are smartly eliminating it. Elimination by substitution, but you have to analyze options also. Then you will you will be able to uh, eliminate it faster. Like first option substitute kiya to n ke jaga 1. Finally, you need to end up at a into b. n ke jaga 1 substitute kiya to kya milega? a raised to 1 plus 2. That is a cube plus b cube divided by a plus b. Ye a b hone ka chances nahi hai. Because we just discussed in the previous question a cube plus b cube is a plus b into a square minus 2 a minus a b plus b square. That will not cancel with a a plus b to get a into b. That is something totally different anyway. So wo a b nahi hoga that is clear. Now when you check the second option this is half. Half power when you are getting you are going to get raised to some fraction power only. Ye bhi fraction power hoga. Ye bhi fraction power hoga. Fraction power add karke A into B milne ka chances bohot kam hai. That is why you can pause option B and C and directly go to option D. Because that is the next integer value. Ye dono fractions hai. Is liye wo simplify karna time consuming bhi hai. Due to these two reasons we are just confirming can option b jaga minus 1 substitute kiya to minus 1 plus 2 matlab kya hai plus 1 hoga na a raised to minus 1 plus 2 means a raised to 1 plus b raised to 1 divided by a minus a raised to minus 1 a raised to minus 1 means 1 by a yeah you should know the loss of exponents again we discussed that already in a previous question na basic loss of exponents you should know so this a raised to minus m is 1 by a raised to m. 4 raised to minus 2 means 1 by 4 raised to 2. By that idea, here when you are getting when you are getting a raised to minus 1, you can write it as 1 by a. b raised to minus 1 is 1 by b. So a raised to 1 plus b raised to 1 divided by 1 by a plus 1 by b. 1 by a plus 1 by b matlab denominator mein you can take LCM. a into b will be LCM and this is b plus a. Numerator may a plus b already hai. a plus b or b plus a same hai na. This a plus b a into b will go to the top and that will be a into b itself. We need to get a into b na. So if option d is the answer, left hand side is equal to right hand side. So option d is the correct answer. How many of you understood this? Please respond. The solution is clear, right? Loss of exponents ka ek or question dusra subject ka paper mein aaya tha. Try this as homework. Iska detailed solution I have added in this slide already. Go through this. Option D will be the correct answer. Please try it as homework. Pausing the video you can take the screenshot. And uh, this is the, this is another question. Make a try all of you.
वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन ना ओके इट्स अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन बट सी एस एर हैव पुट द वर्डिंग्स ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सच अ वे दैट there is chances that you can make mistake even some of you got a different answer in the chat also that is normal in exam hall those kinds of confusion it is normal to uh, have those kinds of confusion but if you practice well before the exam those mistakes can be avoided that is why i am coming up with these series so don't worry if you are getting a wrong answer while trying dividing 60 by half that sentence that part if you don't understand it correctly you will get a wrong answer dividing 60 by half ka meaning half into 60 nahi hai and adding half of 40 means half of 40 so half into 60 six, uh, 30 plus 20 50 mila some of you that is totally wrong 50 is not the answer because dividing 60 by half not multiplying 60 by half dividing 60 by half means 60 by 1 by 2 Dividing 60 by 2 is half of 60, but dividing 60 by half is 60 by 1 by 2, not 60 by 2. And adding half of 40, yeah, there it is 1 by 2 into 40. So 60 by 1 by 2 means 2 times 60, na plus half of 40 is 20. So 120 plus 20, 140 is the correct answer. Those so of you got 50, did you understand the mistake? As I told in exam hall, you should avoid this mistake by practicing these kinds of question. Getting exposed to previous year questions, this is the uh, this is the benefit of it. You will get exact idea how old CSER can trick you. That's why I am taking these most selected questions to show you so that you get an idea uh, what all are the ways questions can be asked, what all are the challenges in exam. सबको clear है ना? so 140 hai answer so that was uh, yeah maybe one more question we will discuss try this question also a miscellaneous number system question Okay, due to lack of time, I will start explaining. Three consecutive integers a, b, c. Consecutive means next next number. Four, five, six is consecutive. Six, seven, eight is consecutive. लेकिन उसका sum fifteen होना चाहिए. There, you know that five plus five plus five is fifteen, ना? So consecutive बनाने के लिए five से one कम किया तो four. वो वन कम किया वो वन फाइव के साथ ऐड किया तो सिक्स फोर फाइव सिक्स कॉन्सिक्यूटिव है उसका सम फिफ्टीन है ना यू आर टेकिंग एग्जाम्पल्स टू ट्राई और ट्राइल एंड एरर वे यू आर डूइंग द क्वेश्चन ट्राइल एंड एरर कर रहा है दैट इज इजी हियर एक्चुअली बिकॉज ए प्लस बी प्लस सी इक्वल टू फिफ्टी मैथमेटिकली करने के लिए कॉन्सिक्यूटिव के लिए एक्स एक्स प्लस वन एक्स प्लस टू ऐसा लिखना है यू डोंट हैव टू वेस्ट योर टाइम लाइक दैट ट्राइल एंड एरर इंग इज इनफ As I told, trial and error ring के लिए best way is you can start with five plus five is five, but that is not consecutive. ये five के साथ one ना add किया तो वो consecutive हो जाएगा ये five के साथ. वो one extra यहाँ कम किया तो वो four हो जाएगा. Four five six का sum fifteen है. So A B C का value मिला तो substitute करिए. Now it is just a substitution question ना. Substitute किया तो क्या मिलेगा? A minus two the whole square. Four minus two the whole square. Plus B minus two the whole square. B minus two the whole square क्या है? 5 minus 2 the whole square or 6 minus 2 the whole square. 
उसका वैल्यू फाइंड करके केयरफुली ऐड करना है नथिंग एल्स वेरी ट्रिवियल क्वेश्चन इन माई ओपिनियन आस्ट इन जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट ईसी विद क्वेश्चन मॉडरेट लेवल क्वेश्चन डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन ओल विल बी देयर टूडे वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट नंबर सिस्टम और नंबर्स रिलेटेड डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन वन टू थ्री क्वेश्चन नॉर्मली आर आस्ट ऑन एन एवरेज फ्रॉम दिस नंबर सिस्टम और नंबर्स रिलेटेड यूनिट एंड इन द कंप्लीट कोर्स वी हैव डिवाइडेड दैट इन टू ऑलमोस्ट एट लेक्चर्स ऑन नंबर सिस्टम एलॉन सो दो सफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी पार्ट ऑफ अवर कंप्लीट ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम यू आर वेलकम टू जॉइन इट uh check out the link in the description or if you have doubts regarding or any clarity needed for the course uh, you can contact in this number and more details you can find here this is the course for 6 months and 1 year subscription is currently available this covers everything you need for csar net part a uh, this course alone will be enough for your upcoming csar net exam part a preparation so all of you are welcome to be part of this full length training of csar net uh, part a section so that's it any other doubts or anything you can ask now otherwise we can complete the session here and for more free resources you can be part of our telegram whatsapp mobile application and christyvergus.in uh, website and you will not miss any update and if you felt the session was useful do hit the like button and check out other playlist in this channel uh, selected questions we are discussing in this playlist all questions if you want june 2023 ka hi separate playlist available hai wo bhi check kar sakta hai and individually of last 10 12 years previous year questions are discussed in this playlist also that also you can check out uh shikha tomorrow also the series this lecture will be there uh, by that you we, we will be completing june 2023 then uh, having decided when we will be yeah one more plan is we'll update you tomorrow one more plan is i'm coming with a practice course for the upcoming csar net exam practice course with extra practice questions not previous year questions extra practice questions which will be strictly based on csar net part a uh, type itself that uh, like a theory and previous year question discussing series general aptitude in 30 minutes there we will be taking questions from upsc exams and all which came uh, which is similar to csar net part a that is a plan uh, most probably that will start after one week we'll update you tomorrow stay tuned hit the bell icon so that you will get update whenever a new lecture is scheduled or new live lecture is uh, starting so that's it if there is no other doubts let's conclude uh, and uh, these pdfs and all of this classes also in the complete course all these pdfs will be available for you each chapter detailed theory previous year questions flash cards practice questions uh, topic wise uh, class notes all will be part of the uh, course so that's it check the description of the video for those people who want demo free demo videos for the part a section general uh, part a section complete course so that's it thank you take care bye bye have a good day share this recorded video link to your friends also so that they can learn these questions or get exposed to csar net previous year questions so thank you take care bye bye have a good day